design process from beginning to end was four and a half years to completion. The initial phase would have been when we had the brief with the clients to go over what they wanted this whole project to complete as. So we started with doing renderings of interior spaces like different salons, different uh, staterooms, guest staterooms. We started with the king staterooms and then we had two doubles. So from the renderings we got like a 3D idea of what they could see or feel the spaces to be. From beginning to end, it just was a continuous process that went on until they actually started installing the millwork. Um, the other phase of that was interior furnishings, um, carpets, uh, stonework, uh, ceilings, you know, all the interior soft goods. So we had like multiple interior issues going on all at the same time. But we had to start from a concept and get to the end. And I feel like after four and a half years, we've managed to uh, achieve what we set out to do. The owners uh, prefer a traditional classic style. At the same time, we don't want it to have the appearance of being stodgy. We want it to be a modern classic, which um, requires that not only do you have period details, but that you also have aspects in the design that make it exciting, that make spaces come alive, that they're not, uh, they're timeless, but at the same time, they're not static and they're not boring. They really are alive and there's a fine line in design between doing a classic interior and making it modern and uh, I feel like we have achieved that in this process. The main deck library sets the tone for the whole yacht. It sets you up to expect great things as you move from this deck up to the owner's deck, bridge deck, sun deck. It's the most formal space, and yet, as you go through the boat, you will definitely see that this is not only a rich and wonderfully well put together yacht, but it also has a casualness about it. And it actually feels like a boat, a yacht that people can live in. Um, as, as gracious and wonderful it is, as it is with the fireplace and the grand piano, it's still it exudes a great and welcoming area. And I think that's the most important part of the boat. The dining salon is exceptional in the fact that you can reach it by either going to the port or the starboard side. We actually have placed the grand piano on the port side so that it sort of guides people to the space, to the starboard. And when you come to it and you look up, you'll see a really wonderful dome that has a custom done chandelier that's quite kind of jazzy, really modern feeling in a classical space. There are four cabinets um, that surround the space and there's seating for 12 and up to 14 people. The one thing that was achieved, um, not accidentally, is it has a parabolic effect in the dome that reflects sound so that once, once you are actually speaking to someone and there are 14, 12 or 14 people, you can actually hear them speak across the table without raising your voice. It's kind of, it's kind of a cool effect. The richness in the millwork and the general layout is similar to some of the previous cakewalks because the owners like the gracious spaces that this boat also has that the previous ones had. Um, but the volume in, in this boat is so much more and so much greater. Um, we had to address that. But at the same time, you want it to feel intimate. You want it to feel grand. You want it to feel special like it's been around forever people can come on here and feel like this is something quite rich and um, exceptional and that's something that every one of their projects we've managed to do